Hello everybody, it's Laura. How are you doing today? So, um, kind of continuing on in my uh, experimenting for what I would like to make for Christmas uh, sales, we are going to do the Color Place Onyx Black from Walmart right out of the can and we're going to try all silvers and golds sounds like burl eyes so i'm going to start with deco art 24 karat gold paint gonna see how these turn out Should be beautiful. Doing a bloom here. So that black that I put down, that is called the pillow, which is different than a base. Um, a pillow is only used in the bloom technique. It's holding up your paints. It's giving them something to skim across. It's the thickest layer in what we're doing today. The colors are thinner and the cell activator is even thinner than that. So that was sterling that I just put down. This next one is a pigment called Ore from this little piggy, O-R-E. So when you are, um, if you want to do a uh, test on your pillow, the black, you want it to leave a trace for like five seconds. If we are doing our colors and we drizzle it in there, that trace lasts for about three seconds. And your cell activator is even thinner than your colors. And then the last one I'm going to use is an interference. It's this little piggy ball gown. It is a gold interference, and it is going to show up very vividly on the black. As you've heard me say before, interferences like to be on dark colors. So I'm going to get my black cell activator, stirring it up. Now the cell activator, this is Australian Floetrol, one tablespoon, that's it. And this will last me a week or two. And um, one teaspoon of Amsterdam Black Oxide paint. And I don't know if you could see it, but I'm going to try and show you. It is just pouring off this stick and then it bounces, bounces. So that's how much thinner the cell activator is. So I'm going to put that there and you want to work quickly once you put it down. It's forming a halo. I'm coming down and just kind of spreading that out a little bit. And then I'm Sending it over the paint colors. We're going to stop right there. We're going to let this center come back into the center. As it does, it will create more cells. This gold is amazing.
Do some little puffs in the center there. Very light. You don't want to blow down into your pillow. Oh, this is beautiful. Very pretty. So, what we're going to do, we're going to take our little scraper. Help this to come out this way. So now you can see we have all these cells in the middle. Our goal is to expand those to come out over the rest of the tile. Everything is regrouped in the center and moved back in. Now we're going to do a little bit of wrecking here. Modifying to kind of fix what we don't like, number one, and give it some interest. All right. And then we're going to spin and get that bloom to expand out over the rest of the tile, hopefully. Hoo hoo, look at that. That is pretty. Need to get it going over this way. Oh, you wouldn't even believe the shimmer and shine on this is just amazing. It is just amazing. So we test to see if we've blown off enough by tilting. If it's still moving, that means that you need to get some more paint off. And it is moving. I want to still get it over this way more. Oh, that's beautiful. Let me give you a close-up. Look at all that glitter and glow in there. Really pretty. Camera is not doing it justice. So, I'm going to take and get this off of here. And we'll do another one. Scoop it up, bring it here, get it out of the way. Now, I've got another tile ready. We're going to scoop this over here, out of the center. And we're not going to waste that, we're going to use it. Put it on here.
like so. Then we're going to get us some more black paint so we have paint to move. Spin it out a little bit to get it out towards the edges. Okay, and we're going to do our colors again. So I'm sitting here thinking, wondering how this would look on a white background. Wouldn't be as noticeable. Oh boy. Jeez, oh man. I am clumsy these past few days. Hold on. Let me wipe this off. All is not lost yet. Okay. Jeez, oh man. We saved it. So you'll notice that time I didn't come down in the center. I just started over here and blue cell activator across the colors and I actually like the cells I get that way much better that downward push does not work well for me for some reason never has doesn't seem it ever will I keep trying I don't know why I keep going back to the same thing and thinking it'll work and it doesn't really work well for me Oh, this one's going to be pretty. Okay. Let's get our little tool. And we shall spin after I center this up. Oh yeah. Oh, this one's much better than the first one. Much, much better. We still need to do some spinning here for our corners. Let's 
getting hung up right here. I think people who don't like the reds and greens will like this. Maybe we should try it on white and see what happens. I really don't think it's going to be very appealing, though, because you would barely see it. But we'll give it a go. What the heck? Oh, this is pretty. This is a pretty one. Take a look. Isn't that nice? Again, you're missing out on a lot of the shimmer and shine. This is just a beautiful vibrant gold. So let's get that out of the way. Might be pretty on a green background. Like a deep green background. Okay, let's get this out of our way. I'll see if I can, if the video's not too long, I'll do two white ones. If I even like it, we got to see what we think about that. Okay, that's out of our way. Let's get our white. Give it a go. Oh, this could be pretty. That stands out pretty well. Maybe, just maybe. Not sure what our ball gown is going to do on white, but we'll see what it does. And do I want to use black cell activator or white cell activator? Let's. Hmm. Let's try the white. See what that does. Okay, here we go. Okay, I don't know if you can see it or not, but that gold is really looking beautiful. Maybe the harvest gold would even be nice in here. Let's see. Where am I using? Yeah, we're going to try harvest gold in the next one. That's a little bit deeper gold.
A. Let's spin. We're going to try Harvest Gold in the next one. So, it's, um, the gold is definitely there. It's just not very vibrant. It's pretty, but it's not showing up as well as I would like. And what is this? That is a goober. Is that the only goober? What is that? That's a goober too. Don't like them goobers. That's pretty. Here you go. I know it's hard to see, but the gold is, um, I think someone would like this, different than than what, uh, what we usually do, more subtle. Okay, I'm going to get this one out of here, and then let me get that out of the way. Um, and then we'll do one, and we're going to add the harvest gold and see how that works. Actually like it better than the black so we're going to replace the ore with the harvest gold see what happens So we still have our 24 karat. We're going to stick with that because that's just beyond amazing. Oh yeah, that shows up a lot better. Harvest. Oh, I forgot the sterling. A ball gown. And our cell activator. Yes, I like the Harvest Gold much better. Oh, 
Let's let that do its thing. And eh, it's still working. Let's let it work. Oh yes, now that's that's much better. Beautiful. So I'll take you up and show you that. Much more obvious. I do think it would be pretty over a green or even a red. So that was successful. Got some different ideas, different looks of what we um, could do for the holidays. I, uh, I think I like it. I still like the frozen look. I'll show you that, what I did yesterday. Let me grab one of those. Here's the little frozen look. I really like that. Turned out really nice. Dried really nice. It's not completely dry, but it's getting there. I like that look. So... Um, hope you enjoyed the video. Just some random thoughts here. I will see you next time with my next idea. All right. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.